Active View is an online application that can be easily accessed using an internet browser. It enables users to monitor and manage EBS devices from any location. Thanks to different ranges of user permissions which can be assigned, the Active View system allows the creation of a hierarchical access of users between the monitoring company, its distributors and end users. Thus, it is a very good and convenient system for security agencies, distribution companies, service companies and other users. To start using the ActiveView program, it is required to create an account and to assign a device to it. You can obtain an account with a login and password from the account manager by sending an email with the serial number of the device to be monitored within the program. Before logging in, it is recommended to read the operation manual available under a link located on the login page. After obtaining your account credentials, go to www.activeview.pl and enter the login and password into appropriate fields. After logging in, you can see five panels Alarms, Events, Reports, Management, Administration. To perform basic account configuration, such as application skin color or language, click on the window with the user login. Adding a new company. First, create a company and a site. You may also check if your device is visible in the application beforehand by clicking Devices in the Management panel. In the Management panel, select the Companies tab. Click on the lower Create button. In the window displayed, enter the new company information. Confirm the information with the Save or Apply button while remaining in the same window. To add contact information, move to the company details from the list of companies. An extended company window with additional fields will appear. Use the arrow to extend the contacts field and use the plus button to add information on the new contact. Adding a site and assigning a device. New sites are also created in the Management panel in the Sites tab. Click on the plus symbol directly or on the Create button in the window with the list of sites. Enter site name. The address may be entered manually or added by selecting it on the map. The coordinates will appear in the address field automatically. In the same window, assign the site to the one of the previously created companies and assign company contacts to the given site. Confirm all operations by clicking on Save or Apply. After the site has been created and assigned to a company, you may access it in the Devices tab below the Management panel. By clicking on the device information, you can label it and assign it to a site. Here, you may also check connection status, signal strength and battery level. Naming checkpoints One step is to add an RFID tag. To do this, enter the Events panel. Next, read the given RFID tag with the device. A line with the tag will appear on the list. Click the right mouse button and select Show Tag. In the Name field, enter the name for the tag. Since the device has already been assigned to a company and to a site, the newly read tag will be automatically assigned to the correct company and site, in example, the place of origin of the device. Creating Petrol Routes One of the main features of the Active View application is its ability to create petrol route schedules. In the Management panel, select the Routes tab. Click on Create to label the route and select one of the two types. Simple route defines the time range in which the employee must read the tags. Advanced route defines a separate time range for the reading of each tag. Assign the route to a site and a company and define a specific schedule.
Alarm Processing A new alarm appears in the alarms panel accompanied by acoustic and visual signals. Click on Alarm Details to see the event that caused the alarm as well as the origin site and company. The contact information will also appear and you may preset it to send any SMS message. You can add a comment to each of the alarms. The Mark Alarm as Processed button closes the alarm. The alarm history may be displayed by placing the cursor on the Alarms History panel. Quick location of a device on the map in the alarm panel. The location where the alarm was triggered or activated may be seen on the map anytime. In the alarm window, it is enough to click on a given site and to enter the device's area. Select the device by name by clicking on the highlighted line and use the arrow to extend the position window. You can extend the map view and view the location in street view. Active view uses Google Maps. Reports The Reports panel includes five tabs, four report types and the setup for periodic reports. A basic report may be created in the Events and Alarms tab. For example, you may set the current date and other parameters of interest such as the event type or the device name. To confirm, click on the arrow on the right side of the search window. By clicking on the tools gear symbol you can print, export to Excel as a CSV file or view events from the generated report on the map. Periodic reports From the reports panel you can also define periodic reports. The user can assign a name, addresses of recipients, period, report type, etc. to these reports. To receive periodic reports by email, you must configure the address to be used for sending the reports. In the Administration panel, enter the Email Configuration tab and fill in the windows with the customer's email server information. Example settings for Gmail are as follows. After the email setup, check it for correctness by sending a test email. Instant Notifications In the Administration panel, in the Email on Alarm tab, the user can set instant email notifications in case of alarm. You can also set sending text messages to any telephone number entered in the recipient's field. Users The AV application enables the creation of accounts with different privileges Thus, the application is useful both for distributors, security agencies, as well as the end customer. In the Administration panel, you can create new users for your account. ActiveView also enables the creation of three types of users. Manager, with full account rights. User, with alarm processing rights. End user, with viewing rights for specific elements of the application. Specific rights for each account type are described in the online manual. ActiveView is an advanced tool. In addition to basic monitoring operations, the application also allows you to change alarm names and properties, retransmit alarm signals and events in the contact ID protocol which enables the inspection stations to use their own application to handle alarms and to integrate ActiveView easily. Configure internal events, changing alarm names and states. More information in free languages can be found in our online manual. We encourage you to try out free start version of this application.